Sometimes keeping it simple with your stream just isn't enough. And you wanna get creative with your presentation or your stream. Well, with the Pro Scenes tool inside of EVMux, you can do just that, which allows you to create fully customizable scenes ahead of time using our easy to use drag and drop editor. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you step by step on how you can take advantage of the Pro Scenes tool to level up your stream. So let's go ahead and dive into my EVMux account so you can see just how easy this really is. So here we are inside of my EVMux account and what you're looking at right now is the live stream editor inside of EVMux. So what we're going to be working with is going to be the Pro Scenes tool which is here on the left hand side. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-filled a few scenes to provide some examples but if we're starting from scratch what you want to do is you want to select add scene. Once you do that you're going to see the option to create a scene and we've already pre-populated a few templates you can use right out of the gate. So you have the option to start with a clean canvas which that's what we're going to be utilizing but if you do want to create a break screen you can do that if you want to create templates for your speakers or your guests you can do that if you want to go ahead and add countdown timers or welcome screens you can simply do that and utilize the templates that we've provided but like I said if you have your own designs you want to go ahead and start with the empty scene so we'll click create and then you'll see here we'll have a clean canvas and the option to go ahead and add additional layers now I want to give you an example of what this experience would actually look like so if I launch my stream I'm getting ready to go live start my presentation I I can go ahead and just switch to one of the pro scenes to start my countdown so you can see here I can go ahead and launch the countdown it's gonna go ahead and count down and then once it does that I can go ahead and click back over to the stream to go ahead and make an easy and seamless transition well let's say maybe I want to go ahead and now do a presentation but before that I want to include my intro so I can go ahead and click to a new scene and my intro is gonna play so you can just see here that it allows you to be able to kind of enhance the production of your live stream without being able to have to like customize on the while you're live and things of that sort so now that intro is done I can go ahead and switch over directly to my presentation the scene that I created where I'm going over my presentation slides I can talk to you guys and then maybe I'm ready to go ahead and have my guests come on and I'm ready to talk to my speakers so the easiest way to do that is to create a scene which I've done here so now my speakers can can talk and engage and you can see here that whoever is managing the stream can easily transition between these without having to make edits or customizations on the fly and that's the beautiful part about the pro scenes tool so let's go ahead and create a scene ourselves so you can just see what features are available to you so we'll come back down to the scene that we still we created and we'll click add new layer now you're gonna see two options here you're gonna see an option for media and you're gonna see an option for capture media is what you're gonna pretty much utilize to add your your camera to add any background images to add any slideshows or presentations so the first thing we want to do is let's say we want to go ahead and add my camera on there so we'll come to speaker We'll select my name and then you'll see here my image is here now. Now I have the option to be able to customize this, size it. Maybe I don't want myself to be as big. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So now I can have my camera be on the lower thirds. Okay, now we can go back and now we can say, okay, I want to go ahead and add text. So now I can go ahead and add text and put live, live demo. Okay, and then now you can see here that you're able to go ahead and change the color to be more on brand. You can go ahead and align it to where you want it to be. So it just gives you the option to be able to customize things to your liking. So we can go ahead and then add another layer. We can then go ahead and add a media file. And let's say I want to go ahead and add a background to this. So you can go ahead and upload by selecting the upload new button here or you can utilize one of one of the templates we've already provided for you or upload your own so let's say I want to use this background here now you can see here that the background is covering my picture and the reason for that is because we need to go ahead and make sure that everything on the layouts for the layers are organized in the order that you want to display so if I want the uh, background to be all the way in the back I got to make sure that it's all the way at the bottom that way it's behind my camera and, any, and everything else that you want to organize in layers you do it as well so let's go ahead and customize this let's make this bigger so that it looks and fits inside the screen and you're able to go ahead and customize this and you can see here just little by little how it's coming together now we can go ahead and add another layer and now you have the option to go ahead and add a slideshow if you did want to so let's say I have this presentation now I can go ahead and size this put it here and now literally you can see here just with a click of a button how easy it is for me to go ahead and add items 
items, add features, add graphics to enhance the production, right? So let's say I just wanted to go ahead and add a countdown timer by itself, just as we did in the beginning, right? So in order to do that, you will select add scene. We would go empty scene as well. And then here you can go back, add layer, and then you'll be able to go ahead and add your media file, which would be a video. Um, so you can add that in there and you'll see here that it'll instantly begin to play. So just like that, you're able to go ahead and create these scenes before your event, before your webinar, before your podcast to set it up and position everything. So that way everything runs as smooth as possible, giving you more features than you had using the simple tool. But however, you still can take advantage of the simple tool by taking advantage of utilizing the, the banner. So when you take a look here, you can still go ahead and add banners and tickers to these scenes as well. So it just gives you more options, more availability to be able to customize your stream with a simple click of a button. So by now, you should be falling in love with EV Mux with just how simple it is to design and produce professional live stream, podcast, webinar, and events. But what if you want to record your content without going live? Well, that's where the next video comes in, where I show you how, without the need of any other tools, you can record directly inside of EV Mux. And if you found value in this tutorial and you want to learn more about improving the quality of your live streams using EV Mux, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video.